And good evening. Great to have you with us. I'm Zach Pitts. First at 10, downtown Dayton was full of thousands of people kicking off the holiday season. The Dayton Holiday Festival just wrapped up a couple of hours ago. T News reporter Kajaja Hawkins was there for all the festivities and has a look on how things went. Organizers say that this was a successful kickoff to the holiday season with the downtown streets full of people of all ages coming together to celebrate with lights, floats and rides. Yeah, I like the ride. Little Eden and her family came out to start the holiday season off in downtown Dayton for the Grand Illumination and the 51st Dayton Holiday Festival, an event her dad Chris says brings the community together. You know, we just love to support the city when everybody's getting together. We love community. Uh, we love rides and uh, figured we'd get out here and celebrate the holidays as a family. Thousands of families and people came from around the community together to watch the tree lighting in Courthouse Square. This year's tree was donated by a Huber Heights resident and after the lighting of the tree, the parades of the floats created by community organizations kicked off. The city of Dayton mayor and then the city commissioners as well were on a float. We have a lot of our performers that were performing earlier in the night are providing some festivities and music. We had Dayton Silent Disco come out uh, and Mike's Bike Park. So we had a really a lot of really cool, interesting floats. According to Jess Sands with the Downtown Dayton Partnership, this year there were over 50,000 lights in the parade, which she says usually brings in around 10 to 20,000 people each year. And this year, despite the cold weather, still pulled in thousands, adding that this was a successful turnout in a step up from last year. Well, last year was the 50th anniversary and it didn't end quite as we'd hoped to. So we were really hoping to work really, really hard to bring the festival back to be everything that people know and love about this festival. So that way people would hopefully come out for years and years to come to celebrate together, bring their families and just enjoy what downtown has to offer. And the downtown Dayton partnership has a full calendar of events for the holidays. To check out that list, visit our website at WDTN.com. Reporting in downtown Dayton, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News.